Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. And thank you to all my subscribers. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a divine channeler, medium, remote spirit extractor, white witch and divine alchemist. And I also happen to be a divine twin flame on the path to reunion. So I have a report for those who are twin flames. If you resonate with the twin flame journey, please listen up. I know a lot of my subscribers are twin flames. However, my work, I just want to always mention that my work is available to anyone and everyone, regardless of if you are on the twin flame or not. I am a psychic medium. I am a divine channeler. I can communicate with angels, with guides, with those on the other side. I even can communicate with the elementals. So I'm here for even general readings. If you know somebody, if you are on the, on the Twin Flame path and you know someone who isn't, perhaps a friend or a family member and they're looking for a reader, you can send them in my direction. I'm here for readings, theparanormalpriestess.com and I would love to be of service and be able to let you know what's coming through, what's priority, what's in the highest good for your healing. So this video is going to be, as I said, um, Twin Flame specific. So you may want to hit like or favorite this if this is something that will help give you that reminder, help you to understand that what you're receiving is absolutely correct and you can trust it. So many of my clients, uh, you guys are receiving the right information. You're getting the right signs. You're getting the right guidance. Sometimes, you know, it's just that our ego gets in the way and we have, um, you know, this, this blockage there of, I don't know if I can trust this, so I'm going to reach out. And perhaps if I get that reconfirmation, I'll feel better about it. That happens. That happens. I'm here for that if, if you're guided. Um, but I hope that this report, I'm going to read it actually because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, but I hope this report really reconfirms a lot for you. Remember, this is a general report as well. And so if, you know, some of you may not be in this exact Place, please do not worry it doesn't make this any less true this is just for the majority of where the twin flame collective is at this point okay so this is twin flames the doors are opening fast yes they are if you are noticing a lot of signs a lot of synchronicities those double numbers just seemingly coming from everywhere right um, there's no mistake about it. A lot of people still question, what, what do these numbers mean? And just in a general overview, these numbers are all about making breakthroughs in consciousness. So we have the different numbers that have different meanings associated in numerology, but the double numbers that you see, it's always about that you're coming through something, you're coming to the next level. It also is a signifier that you're on the right track. Everything's in alignment. You are being supported. Divine support is there, urging you to move forward, encouraging you to stay committed. So seeing those numbers, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, you're, you're evolving, you're awakening further. So it's, it's great. It, it really, really is. You can trust those signs. So I'm going to start out with the Divine Masculine Collective right now. Okay? And just to let you know, the Divine Masculine gets it. They get it. If they haven't exactly come into that place, some of the Divine Masculine, where they really get it completely yet, that's okay. But what I'm getting collectively is the Divine Masculine has come to realizations very real epiphanies about things that they're holding strong to. His past choices in love, his beliefs and lifestyle, he's realizing we're toxic and realizing why, why he ran from the divine feminine. Okay, and that's really, really important. Again, those aha moments, the epiphanies there. Divine Masculine is regretting 
the past. So there's some healing to still do there that they're working on, um, you know, releasing that regret about what happened between you both, some of the pain that was caused. But yet the Divine Masculine is consistently healing. Divine Masculine is sorry yet hopeful in the love, not giving up on himself since he's energetically and emotionally inspired by the Divine Feminine. Okay, and just before I continue, if you are in a same-sex connection, I am acknowledging that as well. So if I say he, please forgive me. Um, this can apply to same sex, trans, you know, whatever your dynamic looks like. Okay. But the message really is that the divine masculine is truly having these understandings and realizations now. And they are extremely inspired by the divine feminine. Divine feminine has really done some amazing work, has come through some just huge breakthroughs. And we'll talk about that. But yes, the Divine Masculine um, has been inspired and has been working off of that shifted energy that the Divine Feminine helped to create. Realizing it's been the Divine Feminine who was in his heart all along, um, he's understanding that even through karmic situations. All karmic situations were merely a mirror of their own toxicity. And Divine Masculine is understanding that if they're still with a karmic at this time, it is ending and they're realizing that the connection is toxic in nature. Okay, they're realizing it. Divine Masculine wants to heal from all toxicity and wants to be deserving of the Divine Feminine. They really do. Because Divine Feminine is respecting herself as well as creating healthy boundaries, which we've talked about on this channel, which is really, really key, Divine Masculine is taking steps, learning to respect themselves, value themselves, and love themselves through cleaning up their thoughts and their actions. Way to go, Divine Feminine. You are that lead energy because you have that push energy. You are more of the proactive energy counterpart on the journey and by you creating those healthy boundaries and wanting to better yourself love yourself value yourself um that that has really really helped not only yourself because it's helped you become in, come into a, a stronger alignment a higher alignment but that's also helped your divine masculine to go ahead and mirror that so fantastic there they want to be worthy and they want to be respectable. They want to respect you, Divine Feminine, if you're watching this. They really, really do. They no longer want to play games. They no longer want to manipulate. They don't want to give in to superficial people and lower sexual temptations, superficial relationships, all of those things that they just, they were in that, they were in that place. They're not in that place anymore. Again, if this doesn't apply to your specific situation at this time, then your counterpart will be coming into this, but this is just where that collective energy is at. They're realizing the 3D world that, that has been causing nothing but stress and pressure. So um, they're understanding a lot more about coping mechanisms and they're discarding those. For some, the coping mechanisms may be video games, for others, drinking, for others, smoking, for others, sex. Um, of course, with everything going on in the world, you know, it's putting the pressure on. It's causing a lot of people to have mental and emotional issues. So mental health is, is a huge thing, understandably, right now. Um, but the social media world is a really big one there. Okay, how you present yourself to the world and the pressures of having to look a certain way or display a certain life or a certain attitude. And they're just sick of it. They're sick of it. Anything that feels really fake now or inauthentic, well, now it is. You know, at, at, at a certain point in their lives, you know, they fell into that trap. But they're realizing now that they're not resonating with that any longer. And so they are taking the steps to pull back on social media, perhaps not doing it as often or not playing video games as often. Or they're not, they're not wanting to partake in superficial relationships or any of that any longer because... They're realizing that superficiality and they're recognizing it and they're like, whoa, no, 
this is just not for me. I'm not feeling this. Um, this is not what I'm, um, what I'm, I'm choosing to do anymore. They're making different choices. So this is really, really great. And they're also not worrying as much about what the world thinks about them. Um, because, you know, a lot of them have had uh, self pressure to show the world, you know, a certain version of them, certain archetype, certain identity. And they're realizing, um, also, I want to add this in, uh, their false identities, okay? And they're realizing now that it just doesn't feel right. They're realizing now they don't want to do that anymore. They want to be authentic, both to you, Divine Feminine, and they want to be authentic within the world. So these are big, big realizations. Again, so much of this that's due to the leading energy of the Divine Feminine. Um, both really need to be commended here. I'm not trying to put the feminine all the way up here. They both need to be commended for their work and their introspection and coming through breakthroughs. Um, but those who have been more awakened on the path, more proactive, maybe it's the divine masculine in your case, whoever is the more proactive will say uh, counterpart. Usually it's the divine feminine, but if it's not, that's okay. If it happens to be divine masculine, you've been doing that work. You've been staying with yourself. You've been setting those boundaries. You've been really looking at what's been keeping you uh, back, what's been holding you back, self-sabotage and all of that type of thing, childhood trauma, all that. Um, and by you doing that work, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it's making a huge impact. It's making a huge, huge impact and it has been making impacts. They're beginning to give to themselves, take time for themselves. This is fantastic. Uh, figuring out a way to devote time to what's most important to them. And they're done with the rest. So they're really focusing in now on what their priorities are, what their passions are, what really makes them happy versus them trying to tell themselves what they should do. This is the way it should be. This is what the world wants of me. You know, they're, they're done with that type of thing, that 3D bullcrap. You know, that the bro the broken um, constructs of, of the 3D, which they're all falling down uh, as we speak. They're all falling down and things being exposed. So all of those layers are being shed. All of those layers. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's really amazing. You know, everything is, is progressing here. A divine feminine is so beautiful in their eyes, yes, and not just in the sexual sense, feminine, okay? No matter what took place in the past with your divine masculine, it's much more than that. They are understanding your beauty in all ways. They're recognizing it as a cherished gift, okay, and they are completely willing to understand their own beauty now so they can share all of themselves and no longer be secretive. Um, for some of you, you know, your divine masculine has been secretive, not really sharing things, being really closed mouth, um, only telling you what they want to tell you. For some, you're not hearing anything at all. So, um, you know, all of that. And, and they don't, they don't want to be secretive, but they are working on themselves, but they, they really want to come to you and they really want to be authentic okay and they will be in a completely different space they want to share how they feel so that you really know this time their love is for real okay if you question this divine feminine you know perhaps based off of things that were done okay understandably you know you're like wow what what the heck's going on here um that you're treating me this way um or that you're seemingly not caring about me whatsoever um, they want you to understand they do want to share their feelings to know that their love is real and they're willing also to uphold that love and not toss it aside or deny it I do get that they need more time they do need a little bit more time that's okay just so they can become what they're meant to become they're working on it they're working on it diligently it's challenging. It's sometimes hard to get back up when bad days arise. Divine Feminine, you know this, right? Of course we do. But Divine Masculine wants it and they will not stop. Okay, so they're, let's just say they're in it to win it. They really, really are. They want to be the best version of themselves. They do. 
And although some days they feel they're just unable to do it, they find the strength to pick themselves up and carry on working through their healing because now they don't resonate with who they were and what the world, what they projected to the world in the past. They do not resonate with it. They're, they're changing. They are working on holding, they are not working, they are working on not holding that against themselves. Okay, basically who they were in the past and now they're looking back on and go, oh my gosh, wow, either, you know, I was a jerk or I was disgusting or I was cocky or, or, or whatever. Oh my God, I can't believe I made those choices. W whatever the case may be for that individual, um, that's when they fall into the low emotions. They, they feel... Um, terrible about themselves, they don't like themselves, um, divine feminines, if you're having emotions coming from nowhere, those are those days where the divine masculine are, are come, they're having that purge come up. They're looking at those things and going, oh my God, what did I do? Um, I can't believe I chose what I chose. I can't believe I chose that partner. I, you know, I, I can't believe what I did to my divine feminine. You know, that, that comes up. Right, but they have to be able to see it in order to free it. Okay, they have to be able to sit with it. They have to be able to look at it. They have to be able to um, say, okay, well, no more. Right, and that is, that's taking place. They're working on um, any types of not good enoughs. They're realizing that they made choices from lower beliefs and false stories. And that they ended up falling into entrapments of conformity. They were leaving them feeling unfulfilled. They are working on fulfillment continuously. Yep, in it to win it. Divine Feminine. Wow, Feminine. You guys are getting there. So many of you are there. Divine Feminine has been diligently working on self. Fist bump has shifted focus onto self and although has been unable to truly let go, so we can't let go, the divine masculine is our own soul. You release though attachments and expectations and have accepted that the divine masculine had important realizations to come to and important healing work to complete and that chasing and over focusing on them constantly was only hindering the processes of both. Yes. So it's, you know, sometimes hard to come to that place. Um, but when we've done enough of that self healing, a lot of those triggers help with that. We're able to say, okay, I feel definitely ready now to pull my energy back, focus on me and not worry about what's going on with my masculine and, and their situation. They realized Divine Feminine, you guys realize that you could not fall victim to Divine Masculine's toxicity due to its lowering of your vibration and frequency through fear-based triggers and worries about communication and lingering karmic situations, right? Because anytime you're in, you're worrying about a, a karmic partner, a karmic situation, or that your Divine Masculine's never going to get to where they need to be, anytime you're constantly in that you know, you're in that lower vibe. That's all lower vibration. And that just elongates the situation. That's just, that just, you know, a lot of people get stuck. When I talk about, you know, stuck mojo, that has so much to do with it. Okay? Um, but so many of the Divine Feminine came through that. And now the Feminine is accepting and allowing for healing to take place for both individuals in order to move forward, which is fantastic. Divine Feminine has made the priority feeling confident, feeling good enough, feeling powerful in her own right, ready to take steps or has taken steps to show the world their authentic selves and share their purpose. Yes, 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 yes. Divine Feminine, yeah, Feminine's like, I just want to be happy. I'm going to do whatever it, it takes to give to myself and make myself happy. I want to know what my gifts and my talents are. I want to know what I'm meant to do in this world. I want to take those steps. Um, I want to take the time for myself. If I need a good cry, if I need a good salt bath, if I need some meditation or prayer time, um, if I need to exercise or change my diet, 
I'm going to give all of those things to me because those are the things that I, I know will nourish me. They'll nourish my soul. They'll nourish my body. And as you do that, you step into your higher alignment. Your vibration and frequency goes up. You're not focusing on what's not working out with the divine masculine. Worry about their situation, right, which keeps everything stuck. You are allowing for that energy to move forward because, again, your divine masculine mirrors, right? So, you know, now the divine masculine will be mirroring that, right? And many of them are taking care of themselves, taking a good look at what's not serving them, right down to daily routine. So this is really all really excellent, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine has had to work on trusting the Divine Masculine again. Yes, due to the past and it's back and forth. So this has been a little bit of a rough ride for the Divine Feminine to say, hey, I can trust you again, you know, due to some of the situations. Depends on what your, you know, situation has been. But so many are now trusting in the journey without needing to know or expecting specific outcomes, okay? And they are forgiving or have forgiven the Divine Masculine and have been willing to let go of what's transpired between them. And that allows for a new beginning to come in. And many of you have already created that new beginning. Divine Feminine also realizes now they carry the love for their Divine masculine within them every day and that they're never without them so there's the releasing of separation thought pattern okay and they don't need the proof they don't need the 3d proof they're not attached to the 3d proof non-attachment is the way to go on this journey it truly truly is okay but that you don't come to that place without doing the inner work once you do the inner work then you're in that place of peace where you are okay with releasing any and all types of expectations and 3D attachments. So if you are in, most of you are in this place, I mean, that's how I'm getting that. Um, you guys have done the work. Kudos, you have done the work. Divine Feminine is in a stronger place since forgiving the Divine Masculine, releasing all resentment towards Divine Masculine and any karmic partners or situations, as well as healing old childhood wounds and lower relationship beliefs that they've had to finish up yes they feel good they feel strong they are excited to be of service they know all is progressing they feel it they trust it okay so that's an inner knowing it's that gut feeling uh that everything is is working out everything is progressing i am supported this is a journey that's supported by the divine this is orchestrated. This is divinely timed. And every single thing that you do to benefit your own evolution, your own growth, divine feminine, allows this dynamic to be successful. Okay, and so many of you know that. But it's more than knowing at this point. You guys trust it. You're coming from a space of trust. And that's assisting everything. Divine feminine, you know the wheels are in fast motion and doors are opening you accept the deep revealing communication from the divine masculine will come when the divine masculine is ready so it's when and only when um and you are absolutely fine with this holding space for that to happen so that it's right and there's no longer huge separations or drastic push and pull between you both okay you will now accept communication from the Divine Masculine with an open heart and mind, feeling safe within the connection. And also, really importantly, no longer you no longer wish to place barriers of protection. Okay, big barriers, big resistance due to what the Divine Masculine has caused in the past. Okay, you you are going with the flow. You are willing to go with the flow. You feel peaceful with going with the flow, trusting in that flow okay goddess alignment in full effect yeah so this is a fantastic if you ask me and i resonate with all of this in, in uh, my personal dynamic fantastic report we're in a fantastic space okay 
twin flames you really are so despite the things that are going on in the world right now i know a lot of things are going to end up getting worse before they get better we have to really really stay strong and align with our light align with the higher light uh, align with the truth and not not get um, distracted from that truth and knocked off our truth it's so easy to do um especially too when you look at the things like news and all of that um it's really important to stay steady in the light um, everything that has been happening between the divine masculine and the feminine um, has really served their greater growth and I really just see and sense and know it's just a, there's a great trajectory going on now with this journey and um, I absolutely can't deny a lot of the signs and synchronicities which are just reconfirming what I already so I hope that you guys resonated with this Twin Flame um, update report. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. Please, no nasty comments, no negativity. You won't see it anyway. It will immediately be removed, I assure you. Anything that is inappropriate in any way, inappropriate about the journey, inappropriate towards me, anything that's disrespectful, will be removed. This is a place of truth, of light, of positivity, of support. This is not a cult-like situation. This is not a dark agenda. This is nothing but divine, authentic divine twin flames and divine authentic support. So please, if, if you have something to, to leave down below which can, reconfirms this and, and help someone else who may be um, just drawn to this video and they're scrolling the comments, um, you could possibly help someone else if, if not more. So um, that would be wonderful. Okay, thank you so much for those of you who watched this video. Um, again, my website is theparanormalpriestess.com. I just need to check in, you know, to see if we're a vibrational match and I will let you know if it's guided. Uh, please email me with any service inquiries and I will check in to see if it's a match and if so, then I will let you know how to purchase um, the service. Okay, from the heart of the darkness is born the light, brightest blessings, and take care, Twin Flames.